I start by interpreting the problem statement. A load acts on a piston, so this weight pushes down on the piston, pressurizing the oil in this region. This pressure lifts this fluid column up to a height H2. This is the problem goal, and we're told to assume that we can neglect the weight of the piston. To define the situation, I sketch my situation diagram, and I state my assumptions. I write my goal like this. This means I'm trying to find the variable h2 as a function of weight and other significant variables. I ask the question, what equation has my goal in it? I identify that the oil is stationary and that I can apply the hydrostatic equation from this point to this point right here. Thus, I select the hydrostatic equation. I label the two points as A and B. Then I'm going to identify my datum as this elevation right here. Next, I'll write the general form of the hydrostatic equation. So the pressure at A divided by the specific weight plus the elevation at A equals the pressure at B divided by the specific weight, and that's of the oil. It's of the oil plus the elevation at B. The elevation at B with respect to my datum, this is H2, this is my goal. The pressure at B, because that's open to atmosphere, is zero gauge, so that term is zero. The elevation at A is zero, because that's my datum. And the pressure at A is unknown. So H2 is my goal, the pressure at A is unknown, and gamma oil is known because I can write that gamma oil equals the specific gravity of the oil times gamma water. So my new goal becomes find the pressure at A. Now the pressure at A equals the pressure right here because they're at the same elevation. The pressure force on the bottom of the piston is holding up the piston. Thus, I can apply force equilibrium to this system. I sketch a free body diagram. The weight is exactly balanced by the pressure force, which I represent as the pressure times the piston face area. Thus, equilibrium gives me the following. I write my equilibrium equation here. The reduced equation is here. The pressure at A is my goal. Weight and the piston diameter are both parameters. To summarize, I have two equations and two unknown variables. My plan is to solve this equation for the pressure at A and then substitute it back in here and solve for my problem goal, which is the column rise H2. Okay, I did my algebra and here is the solution. Next, I check my solution for dimensional homogeneity. The dimensions of that term are force, the dimensions of this term are length squared, this term is dimensionless, the dimensions of this term are force per length cubed. Should be a cubed. So this term cancels out the cube. This term cancels, this term cancels. And I'm left with dimensions of length, which are the dimensions of the column height. So I don't know that my answer is correct, but I am sure it has the proper dimensions. Couple tips. 
When you use the hydrostatic equation, be sure and label your datum and your points. This concludes the example. I hope you found this example useful. See you next time.